Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the link below. We're going to dye some shirts. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. So some of you, if you've watched this channel for a long time, know I went to Junk Bonanza recently had a big booth there um, and I bought some stuff. Not gonna lie, I spent way too much money. I found some really cool things at Junk Bonanza and one of them was this little number. So this is, um, obviously it's a flannel shirt that has been bleached and then dip dyed into pretty colors. And I like it. It was $60. <laughs> and my brain was going, you could probably do that yourself. And then I thought, yeah, I could, but it's right here. And I really want this one. <laughs> so I got it. Well, then I got home and Miss Victoria said, I want one. I am buying her a $60 shirt. No, you want to know why? Because she's still growing. So I went to the thrift store and lucky me, because I get lucky at the thrift store sometimes, I found a brand new one. <laughs> still has the collar in it brand new it's blue it's cute it's got the same vibe as my shirt and this one was only five dollars and fifty cents so i'll pay five dollars and fifty cents a couple of weeks ago or a couple i don't even know i don't know there were a couple videos ago <laughs> we did the bleached Halloween shirt. I'll put a link in the cards above to show you guys that. And that's what made me go, I could do that. I could totally do that. So we are going to bleach out. Look, this was only $8 to begin with. I think, where was this from? It's probably like a Walmart thing. I don't recognize the brand. <laughs> so this is $9 to begin with. But if you go to the thrift store, you can get a deal on some old flannels that fit you and are already worn in and comfy. But we're going to, um, take the bleach that I mixed up for that shirt, the old, the Halloween shirt, the old video, and we're going to bleach this one. So here's the bleach. If you remember now from that video, it is a one-to-one -one ratio. And I said at that time that somebody once asked me what that meant. Um, if I use one cup of bleach, I use one cup of water. If I use half a cup of bleach, I use half a cup of water. One, two, one. So whatever ratio of bleach you have in there that's a, whatever measurement of bleach is the same amount of bleach a same amount of water that you want to have in there and then I got this spray bottle at the Dollar Tree so you know I got the bleach at the Dollar Tree too so I'm two dollars in seven dollars in and uh I have writ dye coming out my ears well I've got yellow this is not writ dye it's folk art dye in fuchsia which is the color we're going to do because then it'll match my shirt like she wanted. She wants to match mommy. She's not going to want to do that for a while, but we won't wear them at the same time. But this is hot pink fuchsia from Folk Art Ultra Dye. And I had this for, I dyed Easter eggs. So that came, that was like during the pandemic, how to, you know, if you didn't have a dye kit and you were trapped inside like we were, we went ahead and used this on the synthetic eggs and it worked really good and it was really really pretty color so it's an intensely pink shirt this will make a really really pink color so but the first thing we have to do is bleach it so let me show you this one let me show you mine so if you take a look like they had I wore it not gonna lie I'm not a fan of their logo on the back so they stuck this giant patch on the back of my shirt it's, it's coming off. Um, but you can see they quite liberally sprayed bleach all over this before dipping it. And then they did an ombre dip dye, which I've never done. <laughs> so, uh, my understanding is you put the whole thing in for a short period of time, you take it out and then you put half of it in for a short period of time and you take it out. And then you put the bottom in for a short period of time and it'll get more and more intense as the dip dye goes on. So that's what I was told. That's what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm not a fan of their logo. So, and as somebody who has merch, 
Happy Junkin merch. I know I have merch. It's my channel stuff and my logo. My website is on the back of all the shirts, but it's, it's this patch is so, I'm not even going to show you who it is because I don't want, I don't want them to be mad because I think their work is beautiful and I really, really like, um, their shirts, but I don't wear logos like on my jeans or on anything like that. I don't like feeling <laughs> And it's, it's bright white. It's not like it matches the shirt. I think if it had been dyed the pink, this color, like if it had been in there and dyed with the shirt, I wouldn't dislike it so much, but it is bright white and it stands out like a neon sign on this shirt. So I don't care for that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys, because I love your shirt. I really don't like the logo. Um, they could have put it on the inside. I, I would have been fine with it if it matched the shirt. But it's so white and it stands out so bright against the shirt that it's bothersome to me. So before I got started, I'm going to take my shirt out because I don't want to accidentally get bleach on any part of my shirt. I do love my $60 shirt. It is cozy and warm and I can't wait to be wearing it now that Minnesota fall has gone from you know, still being really, really hot to now cooler weather. I, it's soft and I love it. So I don't want to get any of this on it. So I'm going to actually get rid of this and I'm going to get my uh, burlap apron on because I don't actually want to dye this sweatshirt either. <laughs> I am so bad at bleaching things that I will get it everywhere. So if you're like me and you know that you're going to be messy take precautions, do what you need to do. And because I am spraying the bleach, I would recommend a respirator. Um, cause aerosolized bleach is not a good thing to be breathing in. But if you've got, you know, your pandemic masks, wear that. Just wear one of those. Um, just anything to keep that vapor from coming up into your face. And then, uh, for those of you with sensitive skin, now my skin has been through the ringer. I'm not going to wear gloves, but you might want to. Um, I'm very used to, you guys, my skin and my nails and my hands have been through war, so I'm not going to wear gloves, but you wear gloves, okay? Take whatever precautions you need to protect yourself, your skin, your face, you know, wear a mask, wear a respirator. Safety goggles would be a good idea, you know, just in case. I can't imagine, I can't imagine, like, I would never be spraying it and accidentally hit myself in the eye, but, you know, I'm not going to tell you how to do it if you want to be spraying it around your face, so I, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Um, if I was doing it outside, which I probably should be doing, I would definitely wear a respirator and face protection because the wind could definitely blow that vapor back up into your face and you don't want that. Anyway, wear protection, but you do you. I, I can't tell you what to do, but I would highly recommend it. Let me get rid of this shirt and get my apron on. Okay, I have the shirt laid out on an old ironing board that I bought expressly for painting things on. And I've got my bleach. And I'm just going to do some heavier concentrations where I want more dye to show and then some lighter concentrations where I don't. Uh, just give it a random bleached out effect. Now my experience from the other shirt that I dyed, this is going to go pretty quick. And then to neutralize it, because I forgot to say in the other video what I did, I literally just washed it to neutralize the bleach. Ooh, it's starting. Let's get it to the other side. Dye is, or the bleach is doing part of the work on the shirt. It's already really cool. Like that bleached out look would be a really cool look without dyeing it. Uh, but I'm going to let that sit for a little bit and definitely get lighter than it is. And then we'll go from there. I have 
decided not to use that pink dye because it's not specifically for fabric. It had directions for like painting it on with a brush and I, it was for wood and um, baskets and things like that. And I went, I don't want it to not work. But I did have it in yellow. I had teal and red and I asked Victoria and she went, ooh, yellow. So we're good. She's good with the yellow, which will actually look kind of cute with this. So here it is after I have bleached out spots on it. Um, you can tell from the video that I did go ahead and drop droplets of bleach in places to make it look like it was more spilled. Probably could have done that in more places, but it <laughs> bleached it out pretty good. So I'm going to use Rit dye and I do have the color stay dye fixative for this and I've never used it before. Four tablespoons to three gallons of water. A whole bottle is what it says for two pounds of fabric. And one cup of salt in the dye bath. Huh. And one cup of vinegar for nylon, silk, or wool. It says that you have to use the stovetop method for nylon and I'm not using nylon. <laughs> it's not nylon. Rubber backing. La, 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 la. So I'm just going to use hot water in a bucket because that's what I have. I did not use fabric softener. Um, I just washed it with regular laundry detergent like you would in cold water to neutralize it. And um, I did not dry it. It is still very damp because when you're dyeing fabrics for tie dye, it's supposed to be damp. So I just went, it should be damp. <laughs> so I left it damp and uh, did not put anything that would coat it like fabric softeners. Can you tell I'm nervous? I've never dyed a shirt before. And I'm not sure how this old ombre... Oh no, that's gonna work. Ah. We're gonna get ready, we're gonna do it though. I'm gonna get a bucket full of hot water, add my dye. Everything is in the bucket. I'm going to put the top in first because my bucket is not big enough for the whole shirt, I don't believe. So I'm going to do this first. Oh, pretty. <laughs> the fabric takes the color right away. Look at that. All right. Oh, that's super pretty. Okay, I put the whole thing in again because I went to the RIT dye website. It said 10 minutes for the light colors. So we're going to have to leave the whole thing in there for at least 10 minutes. And then we're going to pull half of it out for another 20 to 50 minutes. Because the brighter colors on the bottom require it to be in a dye bath between 30 to 60 minutes. Those of you who have been dyeing fabrics for years are probably like, you're such an idiot. Hey, I'm learning. Everyone's got to start somewhere. And that's what this channel is about, is to make people understand that you got to start somewhere. You're not an expert right out of the gate. So <laughs> I'm not an expert at dyeing fabric. So if you're just starting out on projects and you're just learning things for the first time, I will never make you feel that way. I will never judge you. You got to start somewhere. It's all good. It's all good here. We're going to do it together. We're going to learn. Don't worry about it. We won't freak out. Okay? If you have questions along the way, you can ask me. Google something. I don't know. But there are a lot of people that don't want to try things because they're afraid of looking foolish and they're afraid of not doing it right the first time. I am not one of those people. <laughs> I quite frequently look foolish and I fail a lot. So um, this might be one of them. The only way to know is to try. So don't judge. <laughs> Let's judge, but keep it to yourself in the comments. Okay, the one hour timer just went off. So I'm going to take this into the kitchen and I'm going to rinse it in my stainless steel sink so that the dye doesn't get on anything that will be affected by it. Well, it's done. Um, <laughs> I, You know, I kind of chuckled because... 
when you watch the writ dye video for dyeing any kind of fabric, they, you know, they kind of go through it really quickly. And at the end, they're like, and then you rinse it and she runs it under the water, wrings it out till the water runs clear and it's over. And actuality, rinsing took longer than the entire process. <laughs> You're just rinsing and wringing and rinsing and wringing and the colors coming off and coming off and coming off. And you're like, it's never going to end. It's never going to end. And then finally it does. And your finished product looks like this. Not too bad. Victoria is very happy with her new shirt. Um, the bottom didn't get as bright as I had hoped. So um, I did leave it in there for over an hour. I'm really surprised because it said, you know, to leave it 30 to 60 minutes if you wanted the bright color that's on the bottle. So I did leave it in there for an hour because I wanted the bright color that was on the bottle and I wanted the top to be lighter. It's slightly darker, at least like at the cuffs of the sleeve, you can tell that it's a little darker, but it's definitely not as bold as I kind of wanted it to be. <laughs> so I've got some learning to do, but I, not for a first effort, I don't think it turned out too bad. And I said the original shirt that I paid for was $60 and total with everything because the writ dye I purchased at the thrift store and that was a dollar. The fixident is was a dollar also at the thrift store. Um, the shirt was five fifty at the thrift store, so we're like seven fifty in total. And then, you know, water and time and laundry detergent. I didn't use that much laundry detergent. So I mean it's definitely not sixty dollars, but I get that it is a lot of work. So if they're doing that, you know, to the scale and quality that they did. And clearly their quality, you know, they know how to get it to look prettier than mine. Um, yeah, I, I can see where the price comes in, but I'm glad for Victoria's sake that I didn't have to spend 60 because she wouldn't have got it. <laughs> if you're better at dyeing cloth than I am, you're probably going to get a better result than I'm going to, than I got. So I don't know, maybe they use two different colors too. When I was looking at my shirt, I was sitting there thinking the top looked really peachy and the bottom looked really magenta. So I don't know if that is what happened there was they, they dyed the top a different color. I don't know. I don't know. We could probably dye the bottom of hers a different color, but I think it turned out pretty cute. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't yet gotten one of your happy junket shirts, don't forget to click the links below and get yours today. And if you want to send me a thrift flip challenge, the PO box is right here. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, it's that little blue button right there. Subscribe now. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course more junkin' videos.